So that big white round looking like a pipe, that's a basuga, and that's the netting that I'm putting it on around the the basuga. I will I will show you an example how to use this. Okay, the netting and the basuga. Okay, so that's a basuga, the big round pipe. That's the netting. That's the only amount of netting that I I will use. Okay, I'll show you an example. So this is the lamb leg. This is the lamb leg that I bought from the supermarket or the butcher shop. Yeah. So first of all, bone out the hip bone, following around the bone, your bone right, your bony, your knife right against the bone. Okay, boning it around their ball joint to remove the hip bone. Simple as that, everyone. That's a glad, okay, that's an edible, you cannot eat that. This is a hip bone, really good for lamb stock, for soup. Got to have a bit of meat on it, but not too much. So where my hand is, my finger is directly pointing to. Okay? That's where you bone out your lamb leg. Just around that, following around the bone, the marrow bone, and remove the marrow bone from the lamb leg. So all you're doing is just following around that bone, the structure of the bone. Simple as that, everyone. Yep, you're only just using that tip. The tip of your knife, the amount of the tip of your knife that you can use to bone up your bone, your marrow bone from the lamb leg. Suppose it. Look at that. My left hand is to hold, okay, and pull at the same time. My right hand is to bone out the bone from the leg. Simple as that, everyone. There's a joint in the middle, just cut it in the middle, move the bone and that's it guys. Really good for, for soup, lamb stocks, you keep these bones. So right underneath this mouse, this lamb mouse end, there's a little bit of fat and also like glad, and this is a glad. So that's a glad, remove that, cut that off from your lamb leg. That's an edible you cannot eat it. And a little bit of that silver skin that I'm moving from the lamb leg, from the silver side. That's an edible, you cannot eat that. Remove a little bit of the excess meat on the silver skin. Now it's done. 
It looks nice. It's already been trimmed out. Now I'll roll it back in together. And that's a basuga. I'll show you an example. That's a netting around the, on the basuga. Roll it in, facing your leg in the front, then put it in the basuga. Simple as that, everyone. Goes in the netting, then the netting will tie the netting will tie up the, the lamb leg just like that. And it's optional if you want to tie up these little bit of strings that's hanging from the netting. It's totally up to you. It's optional. So the purpose of the netting, it holds the meat together and it helps it to cook it evenly while you're cooking it in the oven. That's the purpose of the netting, everyone. These boneless lamb legs, they sell it at the butcher shop. It's really expensive. It's cheaper than buying a bone in bone in leg, bone it out yourself, and then and put it in the netting yourself. You will you will see it when you're walking into a butcher shop. It's really expensive, but it's cheaper than buy bone in lamb leg and bone it out yourself and put it in the netting. This is a chopper or meat cleaver. Pretty handy to cut bones, pork bones, lamb bones beef so this is pretty handy to have it at home especially when you want to buy meat and then bone it up yourself it's really helpful and that's a demonstration everyone that's a bonus lamb leg that is a lamb trim these are the lamb bones already been cut up with the chopper or the cleaver. Yeah, and that's the demonstration, everyone. It's really cheaper than buying a bone and leg and bone it out yourself. It's cheaper that way.